Okay, so today, Cody decided to leave us a nifty gifty at the door. There was a sticky note on it earlier. Crap, where'd it go? I played this in, like, first grade. Uh, the kid, I think his name was Josh, brought it in. Pull the Dewey's out of Louie and win. Watch Louie's brain pop when the special Dewey gets... Oh, that's disgusting. Ages 7 and up. There it is. How exciting. Those kids look like they're having a blast. Literally, because the brain is blasting out of his head. Mom and Dad are listening to some... 70s music downstairs and Morgan tell about Subway your first day at Subway Okay, you know how I have a thing with Indian people apparently? Yeah There was an Indian lady that got I'm mad at me. I'm speaking for the people. Yes, there was an Indian lady that got mad at me yesterday because I didn't put enough tuna on her sub <laughs> So now the guy at the Unimart the guy at Discount Galaxy and this the lady Indian at the, lady subway. That came in the subway She was like You'll see, you'll see, and she points to this other girl that was working with me with she's like, you'll see, she not pulled enough tuna on my sub, she not pulled enough tuna on. I don't even know what kind of accent I'm doing, that's not Indian. Uh, tell about Suntard. Oh, okay. There's this kid that came in 10.30 at night, we closed at 11, came in at like 10.30 at night, and they were getting two subs, and one of them was for their kids, they were going to split it in half, they got a meatball sub. And on one half, the girl was like, and on my half, I want Southwestern sauce. And I was like, okay, that's on nasty. On a meatball sub. On a meatball sub. And then this, the boy looked like Suntard from <laughs> the Shea Tards. And he was like, I want, and he wanted every single sauce. Ew. He wanted like mayonnaise and mustard and on his Southwestern and all kinds man, of junk on his, on his, on his meatball, meatball sub. sub. And I was like, Oh. That is sick. Here's Morgan in her Subway uniform. Advertising for Subway. It looks like a wrestling Here's an apron. It's your $5 footlongs. The gayest vlog in the world. The most boring vlog in the world. Our last vlog. It sucked. I got really bored because no one was here and I didn't feel like doing anything. And we moved down on the most subscribed this week because I quit Sub for Sub because it's cheap. We are now da 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 two hundred fifty eight most subscribed this week and twenty seven most subscribed this week under comedians. So we gotta get more subscribers. Cody's gonna yell at some people who call him all the time. <laughs> this is so weird. I'll be like, I'd like to know how you got my cell phone number. What the crap? He's calling Slender Man or something? <laughs> Sounds like TV art. My name is Aaron. I'm here in response to your online application to receive exclusive savings. Here we go. Well, hello there, sir. How are you doing today? I'd like to know how you got my personal phone number. Uh, um, this is, is this Nevin? Excuse me? Is this Nevin? Because that's, uh, that's the person that we're trying to contact at this number. Oh, uh, that's definitely not Nevin me. Wallet. How in the world did you get my number? Just please tell me. That's how someone applied online and gave us information and your number was part of this person's information. Well, <laughs> well that's really cool because that's not me. And I get like a hundred flipping phone calls a day from you guys and it's ridiculous. Come take out the trash, Cody! Cody, you need to I'm come take out the trash! I'm on my own line, and I'm not even legally old enough to drive yet. Why do I want a gasoline voucher? This is ridiculous. I don't know, possibly give it to your parents or something? No, that's ridiculous. And then I have to do, like, some stupid offers, and it's like, oh, okay, pay $20 a freaking month, and then you get a gas card. No, that's ridiculous. Please. Right, I'll remove your name from it, sir. 
Yes, thank you, sir. Have a fantastic day. You too, sir. Bye. <laughs> that was freaking hilarious. <laughs> he was like, he was like, can I like speak to like your parents? He's or like, something? can you possibly give it to your parents or something? <laughs> That's freaking hilarious. We're gonna say goodbye to Gooey Lou Wheel. I took that line from Cody. Yeah, we're just gonna turn him away. He was only twenty five cents. They got him at a, we got him at a, or Cody got him at a yard sale. Here, Gooey Louie. The woman was like, that game is. The same. Gay. Now, any of you wondering the story behind Gooey Louie, Gooey Louie originated in, like, second grade. There's this Canadian kid named Josh who brought it in in, like, second grade. Is that bird alive? What's it doing there? Oh, and we there. thought it was so funny. We thought the game was so funny. You pull his, his various gooeys out of his nose until finally you pull one that's attached to the brain and it pops out. And we thought it was so funny. But then the kid took his game and moved to Canada again. So we never saw He's Josh going to get again. To a guy in Canada. Yeah, <laughs> he went to go get married to a guy in Canada. Cody's gonna go pee in the woods. Yeah. In the meantime, we'll stare at this building that's being built. This building that's being built here at the beautiful, wonderful, wild softball court of a. Uh, Wilson College. Can hear you peeing. Okay. Yes. He's done. That was a quick pee. Looking fresh. Wiping the pee off your legs. No, I was checking for ticks. Oh. Those are new. There's a cash in there. Yeah, in that if you're a cashier. And you're somewhere near here in Pennsylvania. Go check out that cache. What's it called? Here, here, here kitty, kitty kitty. Holy crap. Dude, I got a gnarly angle on this parkour ramp. Horse ramp. Horse jump. Cody's gonna parkour. Awesome. We suck. We're gay. We're gay at parkouring. I should when you say parkouring. Parkouring. Oh gosh, I really don't want to walk back up there. We're hardcore at parkour. Hardcore parkour. Oh, cool. Kicking a Mountain Dew bottle. I think he's on level 10. Um, yes, hello. Um, hi. Um, yes, I'd like your, your $100 gas station time. He's still angry about it. We were going to walk down all the way to Wilson College, but we didn't. That's really hot. It's really hot. I kind of didn't want to ride his bike. Yeah, and I don't even know if my bike even has any tire pressure. So. But we got close. We got to the horse ramps. Does someone want to tell us what the crap these are? They look like pea pods or yeah, something, but like were. twisty. I know. How long were you doing that? Uh, for about 10 seconds. For real? Or so, more or less. Because it scared the crap out of him? We were hitting him with a hammer. And we shot him too. He's going to throw this at Watson to scare him. <laughs> Dang it. Dang it, he's not nearly it as scared. It were my cat, seriously. He would like, hit, release his bowels all over the floor. <laughs>